In this segment, we're going to look at changing the settings on your sound card to get the best performance from Mixcraft. I'm going to start out here by selecting a previous project, loading that in. Let's hear what that sounds like. Alright, you can hear that that um, was playing out my laptop speakers. That's not really what we want. Although it might be okay if you're just um, pulling loops in from the library and building a song that way, or doing mashups of two different songs, you know, the built-in settings will be fine. But if you want to record anything, like with a microphone, or plugging your guitar in, or playing a keyboard, you're going to find there's a huge delay between when you first play the instrument and when Mixcraft plays that instrument back to you. In order to fix that, we need to change our sound card settings. Let's go up to File, Preferences, and select the first option, Sound Device. You can see the default sound device is set to Wave, and right below that we see this is the name of the built-in sound card in my laptop. There's some settings for that, and one setting in particular we want to look at is called Latency, or Delay in Milliseconds. That 743 here represents how many milliseconds of time take place between when you play your guitar and when Mixcraft plays it back to you. 743 milliseconds is almost three quarters of a second. That's way too long for making music. You can adjust the settings though here to reduce that number and you can get it down to a better level. 92 is still a lot but might be better. However, some computers, like mine, are not really able to play back something with that low of a buffer setting. I get lots of clicks and crackles if I uh, lower the buffer that low. So I can't even use settings that low, which are still kind of too long. A better option is to either buy a new sound card or plug in interface, like a USB interface or a FireWire interface plugs into your computer. That comes with an ACO driver or, if you're on Windows Vista, a Wave RT driver. I went and got a PreSonus Firebox, which gets you a couple of mic inputs and headphone output and a couple other things on a little box that plugs into the FireWire port on the side of my laptop. And it came with a disk that has an ACO driver on it. So I'm going to select ACO. Since I installed the driver that came with my Firebox, if I click on the ACO device option here, the pop-up list brings up my Firebox. There he is. Once I've selected my Firebox, you can see my default in is the mic instrument in on the front of the Firebox. That's cool. The main out is the left and right output on the out back of the Firebox. That's cool. And um, we could be good to go. Now you don't see the latency setting or the, the delay setting anymore here because that's usually in, in the driver itself that came with your box. You can get to that by clicking on the open mixer here. If I click on that, that brings up the driver's little window and um, you can set the sample rate and clock source and latency. Well, latency, remember our number was 96 milliseconds before. Look here, it's 12 milliseconds, and I'm on a fairly slow laptop. If you had a faster computer, um, you have the option of selecting right down here 1.5 milliseconds. Well, that's 0 0.001 seconds. So that's uh, lots faster than 3 quarters of a second, the default setting. For my slow laptop, 12 milliseconds seems to be a good number. And it's still reasonably speedy. I don't feel too bad about playing keyboards or guitar with the 12 millisecond setting. All right, the rest of the settings you can probably leave as they are. Um, I'm using this SPDIF clock source setting here because I've got an external interface that I'm recording my voice with right now, so we'll ignore that. But most of the time you can leave that set to the internal setting, whatever that is on your driver. Okay, enough about this. Once we've made those settings, we can go back to Mixcraft and hit play. Now that's a lot better. That's what we were hoping for. Now we're ready to make some music. 